What's up guys, that Jake Fisherman here, and for my first video on my YouTube channel, I thought I would do a Rod and Reel Arsenal video, because um, since this is my first time having a channel, I've been wanting to do this for quite some time now, so I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys what I'm dealing with right now for the time being, and hopefully I'll attain more as the years go on. So, first off, we're going to start with my spinning rod combo. We've got a Shakespeare... It is a 6 foot 6 medium action spinning rod with a Abu Garcia spinning reel. On here I have 8 pound P-Line CXX in the moss green color. Um, and I've got tied on right here a Wacky Rig Senko with um, the tip of it dyed chartreuse orange. Um, I thought that would be a pretty good combo just getting ready, getting ready for uh, the spring and the spawn coming up here soon. Um, I've had that combo for about, I don't know, I've wanted to say about 10 years. That was my first fishing rod. Um, it's worked me well. I've done everything from throwing a drop shot on it to catching top water fish on it. And uh, yeah, no, 6'6", six, six, medium, kind of sketchy, but I did do it. It was very, very difficult, but I got it done. Um, I guess my next um, rod would be one of my bait casting setups. I have a... 7 foot, um, medium heavy power, fast action, Bass Pro Shops Extreme, right here. I've got it paired up with 20 pound P-Line Floral Clear. Now it's not fluorocarbon, it's a copolymer. Um, it's mono, basically wrapped in a fluorocarbon coating. It's very strong stuff. And you can get a lot more for your money with this. Um, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with fluorocarbon, but this stuff does it just as well for about half the price. Um, since it does have that fast action of a tip, I'm going to show you guys right here. It's got a lot of bend to it, which means this is basically for me is my multi-purpose rod. I'll throw anything from jigs, spinner baits, crank baits, top waters, spook baits, not frogs, but just top water, um, treble hook baits, um, deep diving crank baits, Texas rigs. Basically, this is my utility stick. Um, and on here right now, I've got the... Bass Pro Shops Pro Qualifier in the 7 1 to 1 gear ratio. And I've got a 3 8 ounce brown mop jig tied on here. I trimmed the skirt up a little bit. Um, I got the mop jig on here now because I'm waiting for March to come around in the spring. So when that water does finally, finally warm up and the ice finally melts off of it, I'll be able to kind of subtly get those fish to bite. I normally have on there a Lose uh, Laser MG Speed Spool with about 50 pound um, Power Pro. Um, super slick I believe it is and the green color but the reason I don't have that now is because when the water does finally start to warm up and the ice does melt those bass are going to be a little bit of a uh, little line shy so you just always want to keep that in mind when you're dealing with um, early spring the water's still a little bit cold. Uh, my next casting rod here, this is one of my favorites. It took me all, sum all of uh, last summer to finally get the money and pay for just before these rods went out of stock. Um, this is my Powell Endurance 714. So it's a 7-1 heavy with an extra fast action. It's a four power rod. It's a heavy jig rod. Um, and on here I've got the Shimano Cronark. 200 E7 with 50 pound suffix, or not suffix, um, Sunline uh, FX2 frog and flipping braid. Um, it's got an extra fast tip, so with that I'm able to set, um, I'm able to get pretty good hook sets on heavy wire jigs. Because for me being, me being that jig fisherman is where I got the name. I like to fish jigs a lot. I like to fish the heavier style jigs, with the heavy hooks, thick line, um, and thick, uh, thick cover. Uh, I've got a three quarter ounce. Flipping jig that I made myself with a uh, Bruiser Baits Intruder in black and blue. Um, I'm going to start getting into that jig making process. Um, you guys can look forward to that soon. Um, I'll probably sell them, but you guys can hit me up on Instagram and that on my channel. Just ask me what I, what you guys would think and ask me what you may, want me to make for you and I can do that. Um, on here I've got 20 pound. I've got a, got a leader because like I said when the water does finally uh, start warming up and the ice melts. Got a 20 pound P-Line fluorocarbon. Um, got a little nick in the line right there. I've got to change that. 
just because when those fish do finally start to feel the water warm up, they will be a little line shy. Um, this, that rod there, I'll use it for topwater frogs, um, swimming frogs, like the zoom horny toads, um, and jigs. And I'll use it for lighter flipping and pitching. But since we're on the subject of flipping and pitching, I um, guess we might as well move over to punching. This is my Halo Twilight Black Edition. 7.6 extra heavy moderate action rod now it doesn't say when you buy these rods on here it only tells you the length and the and the, the power which is uh, extra heavy but I had to look it up online um, so it's a moderate action which means when you do give this rod a good bow to it when you set the hook on a, on a fish under a mat it will allow that hook to stay pinned and that fish can't throw your bait as easily um, I've got this paired up with the Shimano Corrado, the newer one, and 7 1 to 1 gear ratio with 65 pound suffix 832 braid. Um, and I've got it paired up with a 1 ounce tungsten weight 3 aught mustad flipping, flipping hook with a 3 inch um, zoom swimming trunk, chunk. Uh, I got it in pearl white just because so I can see it starting to, when the fish start to, start to bed, I can see a little bit better. Um, very good rod. It's, I mean, it's a, it's heavy. Like when you feel it, it's a little heavy. But for a punching rod, it's very light, if that makes sense. Um, so compared, so someone that doesn't know a whole lot about punching, um, they'll be like, "Wow, this rod's really heavy." But to a guy that punches and flips a lot, they'll think this is a very, very light rod. Um, I'm going to upgrade to the line once the once it gets a little old to um, Gamma Torque braid. It's a 16 carrier braid. It's a hollow core braid. So it's a little bit smoother going through the mat um, and in the vegetation. Randall Tharp uses it. He swears by it. Um, so I guess I thought I might as well give that a try because I'm trying to get the, trying to get into more punching and uh, swim baiting this year. Um, the swim baiting is a little off topic. I'll leave that. I'll get back to that in a minute. Um, so yeah, hopefully everything goes well with that. That's my punching rod. And um, last but not least is my meat stick. Is a swim bait my swim bait setup? I've got. An IROD Genesis 2 IRG 805 SB XH. It's their extra large swim bait rod. Let me show you the specs. It might come upside down, but that's okay. I don't want to flip it around because I'll hit my uh, my bookcase here. So it's an eight foot extra heavy lure weight is three to ten ounces, and the line capacity is twenty to thirty pound line. Um, on here I have thirty pounds. Uh, P-Line CXX uh, copolymer. I've got it on a Daiwa Lexa 300, 7 1 to 1 gear ratio. And what I'm throwing on this right now is what I just got in from Japan the other day is my new Depths 250 slide swimmer in Japanese trout. I was going between the Japanese trout color and the nude black, which is basically just a straight black color because it would give the fish a little bit better of a profile, be able to hone in on it better, but I thought might as well go for the trout because a lot of the reservoirs around me they stock it with trout but um anyways back to the rod um it is a eight foot extra heavy moderate fast action rod so there's a lot more bow in the rod so when you do hook a fish it'll keep it pinned so the because the sheer weight of this bait it won't allow them to throw it as easily um and in the rod um in the swim bait rod world this is considered a heavy this is the eight foot is their heavy rod they have a 7.9 Ultra Mag Heavy, which holds anywhere, no, it's not Ultra Mag Heavy. It holds anywhere from an 8 to a 12 ounce bait, which is their Jumbo Swim. And they have a 7.6 Heavy, which is more for their, um, the Huddlestons, the 6 inch jig, jig hooks. So I'm looking forward to getting one of those. Um, and then I'm also looking forward to getting one of the Dobbins Swim Mate Rods, because um, mainly their 906 Ultra Mag Heavy. It's a nine foot six power rod. Um, it can hold anything from, I believe, a, like a 10 to a 30 ounce bait. It's like an insanely big rod. Um, you can't even use it by Bassmaster, at least series standards. The longest rod you can use is an eight foot rod. But um, anyways, guys, I hope uh, you like what I got. Um, these are just some of the rods that I'll be, that I have now. I'm looking forward to getting more. Um, like I said, um, be sure to like and subscribe to my channel down below and um, 
what I want my channel basically to be is I want it to be oriented more towards the viewers. You guys ask me questions, leave comments, tell me what you guys want to see, and I'll do the best that I can in um, giving you the best information that I know, and I'll obviously do research into that to make sure you guys know what you need to know going out in the water. All right, guys, and don't forget, also don't forget, don't forget to, um, to follow me on Instagram. My Instagram page is uh, that Jig Fisherman, and I'll be sure to accept your follow, and I'll definitely follow you guys back. All right, that's, that's me. I'm signing out, and I'll see you again next time.